because a lot of people send me a lot of notes about fixtures, and it's a it's an integral part of anything that has to do with prototyping. You usually have some kind of new thing that you're working on, and you got to figure out some way to hang on to it. So um, this is uh, this is the original prototype of the spindle, and as you see, it's welded. Uh, the point about the fixturing is that this flange was separate, and in the video, you'll see that it's pretty easy to take this flange without this piece on it and just bolt it to your table. Pro Molly spindle, it's all one piece. The problem with this guy is, all right, how do you fixture this thing to drill these holes in the front? You have a, I have a horizontal uh, attachment for a um, spindle for my mill, but it, it's, it, it, this is in the mill and this thing is so long, the horizontal boring is back this way, can't reach it. So I noodled over this one for quite a while trying to figure out how am I gonna do it. I need to hold this like this and it needs to be held on the mill. It needs to be perpendicular. This, um, but it's gotta be held solid. It's gotta be held true. So uh, after thinking about it for quite a while, I came up with the idea of just putting it, sitting it on a tube. Setting it. These pieces right here are actually uh, material for a, a spindle. This is the spindle cartridge, this is the spindle flange. But I had these pieces of material, so I surface ground this, both sides, so I have a good reference. I took this piece of tubing and surface ground both sides. And you see that that's a, that's a five, and there's a two. That, that's the stuff, how much shims you have to put under it on the first side to, to make it uh, square. Once you get one side square, then you just flip it and put it to the other side. So these two ground blocks, I didn't use these in the setup, but I used uh, uh, angle blocks that are ground. So these actually are, are mounting blocks for the tailstock too. So they're ground on both sides. So anything that has its parallel ground, precision ground, you can use because it will keep everything straight up and down. This will go on the machine and then this goes on top of it. And now we have enough height now and it's all ground surfaces so we're keeping our reference all the way up. And then uh, this guy can go inside like that. One draw bolt through the middle of this to, to the table slots, or in my case, tap the on the table. Uh, so this worked out fine for, for drilling these holes. I don't have enough horsepower to do these all in one shot through this mill, but um, uh, the next one will. But for now, I have to start with smaller holes and, and work them up and work them up and work them up. So you'll see that in the video, and, and it's, it's serendipitous that with this, this uh, fixture, even though it's a good solid fixture, it's, it's a little more narrow than I would like to make this a little bit top heavy. So uh, for, for, the, for the next uh, uh, couple of spindles that I have to do, I'm gonna get a piece of material. This is Dom tubing. I'm gonna get a piece that's it's about six inches in diameter and go all the way from the top to the floor and eliminate all these various pieces with one piece of tubing. So I'm gonna go from one horsepower to 4.6 horsepower on the, on the uh, fourth axis. So I may be able to actually hog these guys uh, pretty good once I had the new mill.